Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So I feel that uh, you went through my previous videos for before going to examination. You all went through uh, the previous uh, uh, videos of uh, second semester uh, CSC streams. I feel that uh, it has been helpful for you. If it has been helpful for you, kindly do subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, do share these videos with your friends. And today's uh, session I am taking as uh, uh, discussion of uh, the solutions of uh, today's uh, examination which has been held on uh, 15th uh, July 2024 that is of mathematics 2 uh, for CSC stream. So I am going to just uh, uh, give the glimpse of uh, the solutions of uh, each question. So when I go with uh, question number 1 a they have been given uh, multiple integrals. Uh, so in that multiple integrals you need to uh, integrate uh, 3 times. Uh, so you first you need to integrate with respect to z then integrate with respect to y then integrate with respect to x we are taking the limits as uh, uh, z equal to 0 to x plus y uh, y equal to 0 to x and uh, z equal to, uh, x equal to uh, 0 to a so expire uh, uh, by integrating this you are going to get the solution as uh, 3 divided by 8 e power 4 a minus 3 by 4 e power 2a plus e power a minus 3 by 4. So if you have got this uh, solution you may score 7 out of 7. So look at uh, this. So just I am giving uh, the solution here. So to verify uh, the solution I am making this video. I am not going to uh, give all the steps, just I will be giving the final solution of the each question. So moving with uh, question number 1b, by changing the order of integration, you need to evaluate integral 0 to 4a, integral x square by 4a to 2 root ax, xy dy dx. You are going to get the solution as uh, 64 a power 4 divided by 3. If you have got this answer, you will get 7 out of 7. So with usual notation prove that gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to a root pi. It is a standard derivation. So I have solved this uh, derivation in my previous video. You can refer this uh, uh, my previous video. You will get to know the perfect answer of it. So it carries 6 marks. So moving with optional uh, question here. So evaluate integral 0 to a. Integral uh, 0 to square root of a square minus y square. So y square times of, of uh, square root of x square plus y square dx dy by changing into polar coordinates. So you need to consider x equal to r cos theta and uh, y equal to r sin theta by considering this uh, changes uh, and uh, simplifying this you are going to get the solution as uh, a power phi into pi by 20 is the required solution. This is what the solution. If you got this solution, you can score 7 out of 7. Find the area bounded by uh, bounded between the parabolas y square equal to 4ax and x square equal to 4ay by double integration. So we need to find the bounded uh, region here. So how to find out uh, the bounded region? So you may you can consider the curve y square equal to 4ax is given by the curve symmetric about y axis and uh, Another curve is symmetric about uh, x axis. So you need to find this area. So if you find this area, then you will get the required solution. So the solution will be 16a square divided by 3. If you got the solution, so you can score 7 out of 7. So using next uh, question, using mathematical rule, write the code to find the volume bounded by sphere. So you can make use of MATLAB uh, code or Scilab code or Python code. So using uh, these three kinds of codes, you can, uh, if you return the mathematical code to uh, find the solution of this, if you return that code, you will get 6 out of 6 marks. Next, uh, going to question number 3a. So you can uh, find the directional derivative phi. So find out del phi. Uh, and uh, they have given uh, the direction here d. So then use the formula direction derivative. So you can get the solution for that. So verify whether uh, the given vector uh, f is uh, solenoidal and irrotational. So both it will be uh, uh, del dot uh, vector f will be equal to 0. 
del dot vector f is also equal to 0 and uh, del cross vector f is equal to 0. So, uh, showing that uh, it is uh, rotational. So, it carries 7 marks with it. Prove that uh, cylindrical coordinate system is orthogonal. You can verify my pre previous video for this. So, I have done this part in my previous video. So, I have clearly explained over there. You can go through that. Uh, moving to question number 4a. So, we need to find out uh, uh, the divergence of uh, given vector f and uh, curl of uh, vector f. Here, uh, the divergence of uh, vector f is given by the solution 6 times of uh, x plus y plus z. If you have got this solution, this will be a divergence of vector f and curl of vector f will be 0. Next, uh, we need to find the angle between normals of uh, surface uh, x square y, y z equal to 1 at point minus 1, 1, 1 and uh, 1 minus 1 minus 1. I have solved this uh, kind of problems in my previous uh, video in uh, model question papers. So, you can go through that. So, you need to find out uh, uh, angle between uh, the normals of the given surface uh, at uh, these two respective points. So, then you are going to make use of uh, the formula angle between uh, two normals. So, then you are going to get whatever the required answer. So, that carries 7 marks. So, using mathematical tool here also you need to write down the ma mathematical code for solving uh, uh, for finding the divergence and curl. So, in if you go for mathematical uh, MATLAB code, I have solved these kind of uh, problems in my previous video. You can refer that. So, going to question number 5a. So, uh, the vector space. So, this kind of problems have been solved. So, here the, they are asking for let w be a subset of uh, v3 of r uh, consisting of v vectors of the form a a square b where the second component is the square of the first is w is a subspace of v3 or not we need to verify uh, here we can say that w is not is not a subset of v is not a subset of uh, v since the reason is since it may satisfy uh, scalar uh, addition but it does not satisfy does not satisfy does not satisfy vector addition does not satisfy vector addition that's why it is not called as uh, uh, w is not a subset of v. So, if you have solved that uh, showing that uh, scalar addition and uh, not uh, satisfying uh, vector addition, so that carries 7 marks. So, here uh, let Pn be the vector space of a real polynomial of degree less than or equal to n. Verify the transformation P2 to P1 uh, defined by T of Ax square plus Bx plus C is equal to A plus B times of x plus C equal to this linear. So, this kind of problems has also been solved in uh, previous videos. Here it shows that uh, T is uh, linear from uh, P2 to P1. T is linear. So, it has been shown. So, it carries 7 marks. Find the curl and range of the linear transformation T R cube to R2 defined uh, by uh, the transformation T of x comma y comma z is equal to x plus y comma z. This will be the range of the uh, given transformation and uh, if you come to kernel, kernel of t is given by set of all x comma minus x comma 0 such that x belongs to real values. This is what kernel of t and range is uh, nothing but x plus uh, y plus z that is what the range of the given problem. So, moving to question number uh, 6a, we need to find, uh, determine whether or not each of the following x1, x2, x3 forms a basis in R3. So, you can verify my previous video for the solution. Verify rank nullity theorem for the transformation T, R cube to R cube, defined by the transformation uh, x plus 2y minus z, uh, a y plus z x plus y minus 2z. So, you are going to get uh, the transformation at last uh, as what 1 0 1 0 1 minus 1 
zero zero zero. So therefore, rank of this matrix will be equal to two, and nullity of uh, this matrix, nullity of this matrix is equal to one. So to verify that, two plus one is equal to three. So hence, the theorem has been verified here uh, for the given transformation. Therefore, it carries seven marks. So we need to find uh, the inner product of the polynomial f of t, g of t. They have given. So then we need to find out uh, inner product of uh, uh, f and g. Inner product of f and g is given by minus one. If you got uh, uh, inner product of in f and g as minus one, it is correct. Then uh, normal of uh, f f is given by square root of nineteen uh, by three. And uh, normal of uh, g is given by one. This is what the solution for question number six c. So going to seventh a solution, we need to find the approximate root of the equation cos x uh, equal to three x minus one. Correct to four decimal places using regular falsi method at uh, between point five and point seven is approximately the answer will be point six zero seven. If you got this answer, it carries seven marks. So we need to find the area of the uh, circle of a uh, given diameter uh, d from the given data. So by using Newton interpolation formula uh, for equidistant values, uh, find uh, find area of the circle corresponding to the diameter one not five. So that will be given as uh, we can solve this problem. I think uh, I feel that I have solved this problem in the previous video, but I have the actual answer for uh, here. There is an uh, yeah, error in the printing. I think so. If the value is six three five two, I can give the answer as here six three six two is there. So you need to solve. So if you solved properly by using uh, the proper uh, uh, formula for uh, Newton's interpolation formula, uh, you can get uh, seven out of seven here. Similarly. By using uh, Simpson's one by third rule, we need to evaluate the given integral. So, and then we need to find the log five value. So, therefore, uh, by solving uh, this problem, we will get uh, the i value as point uh, four zero two three. So, uh, then so considering this value, evaluate log five, we will get the answer. So, then it carries six marks. So find the real root uh, of x log x to the base ten equal to one point two. Correct to four decimal places. Uh, lie uh, uh, lie near two point five using Newton Raphson method. I've done this kind of uh, problems. So in very short term, you can get the solution. So the solution is two point seven four. Two point seven four is the solution. So fit a polynomial uh, by using a Newton divided difference uh, formula for the given set of data. So you are going to get uh, the answer as three uh, x power four minus five x cube plus six x square minus fourteen uh, x plus five. If you got this uh, expansion uh, polynomial expansion, so it carries seven marks by a trapezoidal rule. So you know the rule. I have solved uh, Simpson's one by third rule, three by eight rule, and trapezoidal rules, Weddell's rules. All these rules have been solved by taking seven ordinates. So if you solve this, we are going to get uh, the solution as point five three five two. So that carries uh, six marks. So moving to question number nine a, I employ Taylor series uh, method to obtain. Approximate solution at x equal to point one and x equal to point two for the initial value problem dy by dx is equal to two y plus three uh, uh, e power x. So I am giving the answer for y at point one. You can calculate uh, y at uh, point two simultaneously. So point three four eight five is the solution. So in short duration, I have calculated y of point one. Similarly, you can ca calculate y of point two. After uh, getting y of point one by just substituting x equal to point one, so that carries seven marks. So applying uh, uh, Runge Kutta method, RK method, uh, so determine the solution for the given set of data. You need to find out uh, the solutions for k one, k two, k three, k four. So you'll get the answer as uh, y at uh, point one is equal to one point zero six six seven. 
so that carries seven marks. So by uh, Milne's predictor character uh, method uh, using uh, the differential equation, we need to find the solution for the set of data that have been provided. So we are going to get uh, y4 predictor as uh, 1.1552 and uh, from this uh, derivative of that y4 dash will be equal to 0.4284. Then using this we will find out corrector formula y4c is given by 1.154. So therefore y at 1 is equal to 1.1541 1 is the required solution. This carries 6 marks. So similarly I have solved uh, in the previous video the modified Euler's method how to solve it. So you can go through that you will get the solution. So in question number uh, 10th B you need to find out uh, by doing RK method you need required to find, uh, solve the given differential equation. So we will we are going to get uh, uh, k1 equal to 0 0.2, k1 equal to 0 0.2, k2 equal to 0 0.1967, k3 equal to 0 0.1967, k4 equal to 0 0.1891. So therefore y at 0 0.2 is equal to 1.196 is the required solution that carries 7 marks. So in uh, question number 10c, so here they have been uh, asked for mathematical code to solve the differential equation using Taylor series method. You, uh, you can require to give, you require to give the mathematical uh, code to express, uh, uh, to solve the solution of differential equation that carries 6 marks. So the paper was very easy uh, to solve. I think uh, I thank for uh, paper setter. So has been set uh, very simple. Uh, to so make the problems uh, solution as easier and uh, it is easy to pass the examination. I wish you all the very best for your upcoming result and uh, thank you for watching this video. If it has been helpful for you, if you have any doubts, you can ask me, you can put a comment, I will clear your doubts. Thank you all for watching this video. Kindly do subscribe to my YouTube channel.